Welcome back to Bombastic Nation and Ting and Ting and Ting. <laughs> back with another vibe for all you. Back with more vibes for all you and Ting, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we think of dangerous places. We think of places where the man is fighting and, you know, all of that kind of stuff like that. But Mother Nature taught you her own dangers and, uh, and you know, most dangerous places as far as Mother Nature is concerned. But man is part of the, of the nature and everything. But, you know, we all screwed it up with all this technology stuff. But, hey, technology is good, I guess. But, you know, what we're going to watch here, this one is called, excuse me, <clears throat> 15 Most Dangerous Places on Earth. 15 Most Dangerous Places on Earth. I want to see where it is and maybe I might just go there just to see how dangerous it is. Let's go ahead and YouTube and Sim Simma. Our planet Earth has some of the most breathtaking landscapes, but unlike tourist-filled cities and towns, there are a few places no human should ever dare to visit. Here are the 15 most dangerous places on Earth. Number 15, Snake Island, Brazil. 93 miles away from Sao Paulo lies a land that's considered to be the most dangerous place on Earth. Ilha de Quimada Grande, or Snake Island, is an island where no human is allowed to step foot on. With highly venomous and deadly golden lancet snakes slithering around the land, there is no safe quarter on the island. Last known human inhabitants date back to the 1920s. Legend says the last fisherman who strayed too close to the island shore was discovered on his boat days later, lifeless in his own pool of blood. Number 14, Cinnabon Volcano. That's all you gotta say right there. Sneak. This snake, and I ain't going there. Ain't those little creepy crawly things, you know what I mean? I guess most of them are harmless and all of that, but you know, just the whole creepy crawly and slithering thing. Eat snakes. You're not gonna catch me going on that island. Well, if I'm drowning in a shipwreck out there, I might go there, just might, but not willingly. <laughs> no. Indonesia. Mount Cinnabon is arguably one of the most dangerous places on Earth. In 2010, after 400 years in dormancy, Cinnabon Volcano awoke and spewed hot gas, ash, and rocks into the Indonesian land. Thousands were harmed and at least 15 people were killed. Cinnabon Volcano is the only volcano on level 4 alerts and completely off limits to any climbers. In 2019, another eruption caused havoc across the local village. Captured footage shows how ash and smoke shot 23,000 feet into the air and coated the land in debris. Number 13, Bermuda Triangle. One of the world's most famous mysteries is the infamous Bermuda Triangle. The Devil's Triangle is bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, and is the place where ships, planes, and people mysteriously disappear. Giant airplanes and boats have vanished without ever radioing for distress messages. We've been hearing about this place since I was a kid, man. Heard all kinds of stories and stuff out there. Some theories say that powerful rogue waves that reach up to 100 feet destroy all evidence of a ship or plane and are a cause of sudden disappearances. No matter what the reasons may be, the Bermuda Triangle is the world's most supernatural and paranormal place. Number 12, Lake Natron, Tanzania. Lake Natron is a notorious place on Earth where all living creatures die from simple contact and where birds suddenly turn into stones and statues. Not only is the lake extremely alkaline, but this supernatural place in Tanzania can reach dangerously high temperatures as well. When all the glass-looking and reflective lake tricks birds into flying straight into water, it's the climate that turns these creatures into stones. During dry seasons, when the water recedes, the birds desiccate and turn into stone-like statues. The pictures speak for themselves. Number 11, Death Valley, California, U.S. Death Valley is a very apt name for this Californian desert. With the highest temperature ever recorded in history, Death Valley's degrees vary from 134 degrees Fahrenheit at dawn to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Damn. At 282 feet below sea level, Death Valley is the lowest point in North America. Without any water, the hottest place on Earth can kill a human within 14 hours. The 
mysterious desert has rocks that move across the ground and the sand that sings. Worth a quick trip and adventure, but make sure to drink your water. Number 10. Danakil Desert, Eritrea. Hell on Earth and the world's most inhospitable place are no. nicknames, rightfully given to the Danakil Desert in Eritrea. That's just if these nicknames weren't enough to paint a picture of how dangerous this place truly is, let's dig a little deeper. The sun favors one place on Earth, and that place sits in Eritrea, Africa. Located in northeast Ethiopia, it's the land the Afar people call home, Danakil Desert. With an average year-round temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit, this African desert is one of the hottest scorching places on Earth. But the dry and hot weather aren't the only features of this astounding desert. Across hundreds of miles stands the Danakil Depression, a place where three tectonic plates join and create the depression. As small volcanoes dominate the Rift Valley, the floor is mostly made of basaltic lava. Its flaming hot lava can be captured at night when the flaming magma displays a dangerously beautiful scene. Wow. Number 9. Valley of Death, Russia. You might think the Valley of Death is an over-exaggeration, or a tad bit too dramatic. But once you hear about this supernatural place, you'll see why this name is very fitting and apt. Located in eastern Russia is a place that is called an animal graveyard. Many puzzling head scratching and backstories and origins. This valley remains to be an unsolved mystery. According to legend, two hunters wow. stumbled upon the bizarre land in the 1930s. Upon climbing up the Kipnich volcano, they saw land with no grass or plants, covered with dead animal bodies. The explorers soon started to feel dizzy and decided to flee the area. As rumors of the mysterious land spread, many tried to finally solve the puzzle and come back with proper answers. Just like animals, around 80 human lives were taken by the supernatural valley. Scientists have deduced that the lethality of the land is due to high concentrations of poisonous gases that arise from the volcano. Wow. A mix of hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide kill living creatures within minutes, whilst also preserving dead animals' bodies for years. As the deadly gases accumulate throughout the animals' bodies, it prevents the bacteria responsible for decomposition to complete its action. That's why animal bodies were seen scattered around the land. As one might expect, the Valley of Death is closed for visitors. The only way to sneak a peek of the land is through a helicopter tour, which costs a hefty $700. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Lives with notifications on. Number 8. Medini National Park, Bolivia. At first glance, this incredible land looks straight out of a fairy tale. But this picturesque park is extremely dangerous in real life. Mandini National Park, located in Bolivia, is the home to the most poisonous and venomous fauna in the world. A simple touch, cut, or a wound can become infected with tropical parasites that cause dizziness and even death. And while this land is undoubtedly very dangerous and hazardous, it doesn't stop tourists and travelers from making a quick trip down to the Mandini National Park. The mesmerizing Bolivian park is home to some of the most majestic creatures known to man, from exotic animals to unique fauna. Mandini Park is filled with surprises and wonders. From jaguars, otters, to crested eagles and hummingbirds, the park has over 1,100 different animal and bird species. But when it comes to the real danger a human can face, one must always remember that this gorgeous and green park houses some of the most toxic and poisonous fauna in the world. Extremely deadly parasites await as a cut or wound is detected on a human. But when the perfect time arises, it hits the immune system and causes sudden death. Medini National Park, as breathtaking and beautiful as it may be, wow. is known for its venomous spiders, snakes, and poisonous plants. So, if you're thinking about visiting this exotic land, make sure you stay safe and follow the guide rules carefully. Number 7. Bikini Atoll, Marshall Island. What may look like a stunning coral beach is a result of years of high radiation experiments. Bikini Atoll, Marshall Island, located in the boundless Pacific, has gained a reputation for being the go-to nuclear test site. With over 65 experiments and 12 years of hydrogen and wow. atomic bomb testing, Enjoy. this gorgeous island has experienced more than any other land on Earth. While the ocean life may seem unharmed and peaceful, in reality, the beautiful atoll has gone through irreparable damage throughout the decade. The Kini Atoll held the world's first underwater atomic explosion in 1946, and its radiation exposure has only gotten greater. 
extremely dangerous. Radioactive water is the result of decade-long radioactive contamination. The altered ocean was so powerful in charge, it sank nine ships and caused cancer amongst those who got near to the clear waters. Now, after years of harmful events, Bikini Atoll Marshall Island is open to tourists. Only a small chunk of the island's area is open to the public. No human is allowed to bathe and visit the polluted beaches. While this island may look like a heavenly vacation spot, don't be fooled. It's much more dangerous than you could possibly imagine. Number 6. We just all did this joy and natural, beautiful habitat. I'm a nature type person. Even though I don't like snakes, or rats, or bears. Land animals, I'm not the I'll say, I'll say this over and over again. I ain't fond of land animals at all. But, uh,. We don't show no respect for, for Mother Nature, man. Just go in there and we just take. Most of the times we don't took, we don't put back, we just destroy. We gotta stop doing that, man. We killing all this beauty out there for what? To make life easier for we get easier for us? We just getting so freaking lazy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get back to this here. Nica Crystal Cave, Mexico. The Nica Crystal Cave in Mexico is so mysterious and unexplored that National Geographic shot an hour long documentary showcasing the dangers and wonders of the Crystal Cave. Three scientists geared up for a deep exploration trip as they visited Nica's mountain's infamous cave. Located in the Chihuahua Desert, this mountain is home to the biggest crystals in the world. As hot magma lurks below the cave, this Mexican destination is a heat stroke accident waiting to happen. The three scientists sent for an impossible mission had different goals in mind. Their main objective was to collect the crystal samples and to later observe them. There are these crystals the size of redwood trees. You stand there with your mouth wide open. Wow. Chris McKay, a planetary scientist. Exciting and life-changing as this adventure might have been, one must remember that as soon as a person walks into the cave, their body starts to die. With incredibly high temperatures and unbearable humidity, the only way to approach such a cave was by using protective suits. But even with the appropriate attire, the scientists only have about a half hour to collect their samples and get out alive. George Coronas, a well-known adventurer and documentary expert, was given the green light to spend only one day at the notorious Crystal Cave. It took the explorer two years to finally get the permission needed, but according to the Daredevil, it was worth the wait. It looks like Superman's Fortress of Solitude, says George. As far as the hot temperature goes, even George vouched for the cave's unbearable heat, commenting, as soon as you walk in, you start to die. Number 5. Kauijan Volcano, Indonesia Seeing the breathtaking and mesmerizing blue lava-like rivers of light might seem like a futuristic movie scene, but in reality, it's extremely poisonous Kawa Ije Lake. A stunning turquoise lake sits at the peak of Kawa Ije Volcano, and at night, electric blue flames can be seen rolling down mountainsides. Wow. The absolutely jaw-dropping lake is full of hydrochloric acid, which is more corrosive than battery acid. The hydrogen chloride gas beam from the volcano collides with sulfur-containing gases and creates a powerful chemical that is unimaginably corrosive. The Greek Canadian explorer Joe Taranis once again had the opportunity to explore one of the world's most dangerous places. The adventurer took a small rubber boat out into the acid lake to measure its acidity. The pH of the water was measured to be as low as 0.13. But even though this volcano and lake are clearly dangerous and deadly to humans, miners still risk their lives to collect the accumulated sulfur. See, George there we watched go. these miners hard at work and recalls how the only protection they had was a wet rag stuffed into their mouth. The sulfur dioxide gas would still leak through and dissolve away their front teeth. Beautiful as it may seem, the Kawaii volcano and lake is one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Number 4. Mount Washington, New Hampshire, United States. It's, it's a widely amazing. known fact that Mount Everest is not only the tallest mountain in the world, but is also the most dangerous mountain on Earth. And while no other great summit can come close to the incredible height and perplexity of Mount Everest, there's one other mountain in the world that holds a substantial title, known as the most dangerous small mountain in the world. Mount Washington in New Hampshire is any hiker's worst nightmare. 
But what exactly makes this peak so hazardous? It's clearly not the height, but the wind. In April 1934, the highest ever wind velocity of 231 miles per hour was recorded wow. on Mount Washington. Even at wind speeds of 60 miles per hour, hiking becomes nearly impossible. Powerful blowing winds and cold weather combine to intensify hypothermia. Freezing temperatures that drop to negative 40 Fahrenheit and continuous heavy snowfalls make Mount Washington a truly dangerous place to visit. Daredevil hikers who see this mountain as a beatable obstacle do heavy research before starting their unforgettable journey. Meticulous calculations have to be made in order to begin the adventure with appropriate weather. With over 150 recorded fatalities since 1849, it's paramount to embark on such an adventure extremely prepared and organized. Number 3. Lake Nos, Cameroon The silent but deadly Lake Nos turned out to be much more dangerous than scientists first assumed. Lake Nos, located in Cameroon, Central Africa, seemed like an innocent, beautiful lake, surrounded by small villages. At first glance, no one could expect this quiet, blue, and picturesque lake to be more than just a pool of water. But the narrative changed on one fateful August night. In 1986, a tall fountain of water started spouting out of Lake Nos. The fountain soon released a white cloud of gas, which grew bigger by the minute. It reached 300 feet in height and spread over the nearby villages. Residents soon started to lose consciousness and collapse on the ground. The gas turned out to be carbon dioxide. At concentrations greater than 15%, carbon dioxide can be lethal. And on that August night, more than 1,700 villagers died on the spot. Wow. CO2 can be kept under lakes and surrounding rocks for decades. When a volcano erupts, it emits dangerously high amounts of carbon dioxide. This compound has the ability to pass through rocks and slowly dissolve in the groundwater. If this event takes place near a lake, carbon dioxide eventually saturates the water, leaving it to be extremely dangerous and hazardous. While well, most cases of dissolved underwater carbon dioxide overturn, reach the surface, and eventually dissolve in the atmosphere, this didn't happen until Lake Nyos. Poisonous gas remained trapped until something triggered its release, and resulted in over 1,700 deaths. Wow. Number 2. Fraser Island, Australia A fun way to spend the hot summer days to pack your suitcase and head to the beach. Everyone enjoys a refreshing, entertaining time at the beach, swimming and tanning alongside your friends and family. But one beach that's categorically forbidden is located on Fraser Island. Just off the southeastern coast of Queensland, Australia, stands a beautifully mesmerizing beach. But unlike your local shores, Fraser Island is the number one most dangerous beach in the world. Every aspect of the beach is unsafe and extremely hazardous, from the ocean water and beach sand to the animals and water species that inhabit this land. No part of Fraser Island is considered to be bearable for humans. Deep inside the ice cold waters live Irukandji jellyfish and blue bottles, a technical species with powerful stinging abilities. How can sand be dangerous, you may ask? As the sand in the lakes can't be seen, enthusiastic swimmers choose to go head first into the water, without any hint of how shallow the water truly is. As far as animal inhabitants go, most have heard of the infamous Australian dog species, the dingoes. And unlike our human companions and loyal dogs, these species aren't as friendly to people as one might assume. They are wild, undomesticated predators that can attack anyone or anything that triggers aggression or irritation. As there are thousands of beaches across the world, there is no logical reason to visit Fraser Island without a death wish. Number 1. Elephant Kingdom, Thailand The Elephant Kingdom, located in Chonburi, Thailand, is thought to be the world's most terrifying tourist attraction. While cities and towns all over the world offer beautiful scenery and historic castles, this particular tourist attraction offers something completely different. Even though the name Elephant Kingdom might make you think this famous Thailand destination is stretched out land inhabited by elephants, in reality, it's something quite the opposite. Have you ever wanted to climb to a metal cage and feed reptiles? Well, the notorious Elephant Kingdom offers just that. Tourists from all over the world gather in Chonburi in the hopes of feeding live, ten foot long crocodiles, only separated by a metal cage that is kept afloat with plastic barrels. There is little to no barrier against the deadly reptiles. Tourists on board of the metal cages often don't realize that they themselves could end up being a crocodile's meals. The small caliber rafts were often broken down and unsafe. The empty plastic barrels that held up the cage would often sink or move. 
adding suspense to the already tense situation. What? When tourists captured the now viral photo of tourists dangling food for the reptiles, social media went berserk. The international outcry forced the Thai government and local police to finally step in and take proper measures. This extremely dangerous and over-the-top park was finally shut down in 2016 on the counts of numerous safety hazards. Subscribe to Top 5 for more and check out... Wow, man. You see people trying to make money there with all that big shit floaty thing with all these crocodiles? What is wrong with y'all? Just to make some money. I know you gotta feed your family and thing, but man. I don't wanna be that close to no damn crocodiles. I don't wanna be close to alligators. I thought about moving to Florida one time, and one of the research I did is to see whether I could see the least alligators. I didn't try to see none of them things. Them things been around for centuries. Kind of like human beings, but long before human beings. Don't tell me them things can't think. They survived this long. Changes in weather. It changes in everything. Who is the dominant animal and all of that. And they survive all of that. There's a reason for that. <laughs> you should get the hell away from them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe and you know, hit the notification button so you are notified whenever I put out new videos. You know what I mean? And you know, you've got three choices there. Make sure you hit it so that you get notified all the time. You know what I mean? Not just sometimes. Also, leave a comment. Tell me something you want me to react to, you know? I don't react to anything. I like, you know, like stuff like this. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know what I mean? Like the video, share the video. Do all of them things there. All of them things. You know what I mean? And thing and in the meanwhile, are you doing them thing and them? Make sure everything is peace, full running.